Our forecast from the Valley News Live Storm Team. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Sky Cam, seeing some breaks in those clouds as we look off towards the west. A little bit of blue sky out there, and we'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine. At least looks like for at least the next little while here in the Fargo Moorhead area, we'll see more sun than clouds. Right now, 70 degrees, and those winds out of the north and northwest at 12. Looking should continue to shift over to the north and northeast around 5 to 15 miles per hour. So certainly not anywhere near as windy as those. Uh, Gusty winds we were seeing yesterday. Warmest off towards the east, 79 in Wadena, 76 in Bemidji, 75 in Fergus Falls, 68 Thief River Falls, it's also 68 in Grand Forks and Jamestown. The cool spot, 63 degrees in Devil's Lake. We have had some clouds out there, and again, it's dissipating. We'll see more showers and thunderstorms and cloudiness to redevelop later on today. A couple of areas that could see one or two strong storms, northwest Minnesota. And off towards the west, western and central portions of North Dakota, and that may get into the Devil's Lake Basin later on today. The rest of us, most of us, will stay dry later on tonight and into tomorrow morning. More of the area will see a chance for a few isolated showers or rumbles of thunder. Underneath what clouds we do have right now, no precipitation outside of a few weakening showers and sprinkles up in northern portions of Minnesota. Those will continue to move off towards the east and northeast. And again, we'll see a redevelopment of a few showers and thunderstorms later on this afternoon and this evening. Right now, the northern plains pretty quiet. Those few showers over in Minnesota, also in northwestern Iowa, southwestern parts of South Dakota, off towards the west, some unsettled weather, which includes some high mountain snows for parts of Montana and Wyoming. That activity will make its way towards the region as we head through the next uh, 24 to 36 hours, giving us that chance for a few showers and some thunderstorms. Northern California getting some rain and some high mountain snow, as is southwestern Oregon off towards the east. Most of the country quiet, but Florida, once again, getting what they don't want is more rain. For us, we'll have that chance for just a few sprinkles in the next hour or so up in northern Minnesota, and then later on today, a chance for a little bit of redevelopment of some showers and thunderstorms out there. And late tonight, we'll see those showers and thunderstorms moving into the Devil's Lake Basin and weaken as they do so across the far north. And as we go through the rest of the day tomorrow, a chance for a few isolated showers and storms across the region. Most of us will stay dry. Only about a 20 to 30 percent chance of some showers. Cooler tomorrow. Cooler still as we head through your Friday. Temperatures cooling down into the 50s by 10 o'clock tomorrow night. Today, we've got that chance for a few showers and storms. Temperatures in the low 80s. Low 70s tomorrow. Cooler still on Friday. Some low 60s with another chance for a few showers and storms, mainly in the Southern Valley. Saturday looks great. Sunday looks even better. And then we'll warm up into the 80s briefly on Monday, cooling back down with a chance of storms on Tuesday. Not looking bad for this weekend, too. Kind of a yeah. Big, yeah. big football game going on, yeah, on Saturday. It wouldn't matter. We could have a blizzard and people still be tailgating. So. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. Straight ahead at noon, a Florida university taking steps to create dorms for transgender students.